I got a felt like it was videotaped and stuff, you know. This is Phil. Phil, why are we here? I have no clue. It's cold outside. I'm sorry. Athlete of the month video. Oh, male male version. Got it. Phil, what sex are you? Um, male. See? <laughs> no. All right. So I'm here with Phil Alejandrino. How's it going today? It's good. It's good. You pronounce it right. I'm impressed. You know who doesn't pronounce it correctly? Let's hear it. Siri. Alejandrino. Oh. So you're from California. I am. When were uh, when did you move? Here. Uh, let's see, 2001, January 2001. From California straight to here? Yeah. What brought you this way? Uh, football. At, uh, Concordia University oh, okay. uh, recruiters brought you so Really? What was position? Defensive end. Did you, was it a good looking back? Do you wish you would have stayed west? Um, maybe the college career could have taken some different turns, but yeah. uh, no, I, I think it was, it was a good choice at that time. Didn't you, I thought you, didn't you go to school in Arizona? I did. I did a wrestle at Arizona State. Arizona State. Nice. So how, run me through that. How'd you get from there? Yeah. Well, it's Arizona State, so I, it's Arizona State. So let's say I was cutting weight and that was a bad experience. Yeah. Uh, so I was cutting like 25 pounds uh, to get down my weight class every week. What was and, your weight uh, class? 197. Ugh. I'm now about like 238. It's 25 pounds every week. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. So, um, that and uh, well, it's Arizona State. Yeah, no, it's definitely high. So you went there and wrestled, and you just didn't, you weren't able to kind of break through and start as much as you wanted to. So then you went to play yeah. football. Yep, and academics, you know, I was I wasn't there. Okay. I wasn't ready to balance the academics yeah. and the, the Division One lifestyle. So yeah, it's, uh, it was kind of interesting. Cool. So I went back home, uh, went back to California, and uh, started playing some football at JUCO. Okay. And then. Uh, had a couple great games at the beginning of the season and then got the eye at Concordia and they came out and wow. saw some films and they said come on out in January. So it's like alright. That's so, awesome. So. Defensive end you said? Yeah. yeah. What's your stat line? Career stats? Um, I don't even know. A million sacks? I wish. I think I forced more fumbles than I got sacks. So that's, that's probably a good thing. But uh, yeah. Cool. A little shifty but a little shorter so. Okay. I'd say I had a lot of hurries. A lot of hurries. Lot there of you hurries. go. So hurrying, if you don't know what that means, hurried the quarterback. So made the quarterback make a decision quicker than he normally would have. And a lot of knockdowns, too. Yeah, that's, really too. that's good. Yeah. So that's hitting the quarterback late. He'd now be penalized for that. Yeah. A few injuries, too. Yeah, let's put that yeah. In. yeah. <laughs> nice. So uh, how long did you play football up here? Uh, three years. Three years. You enjoyed it? I did. It was a good time. And then you stayed? Yeah. For a job, or are you just? Yeah, I joined the. I got a job here. Uh, worked in um, correctionals for the State Department of Corrections. Okay. And, uh, and I joined the National Guard, and uh, I was a solidified Minnesota after that. So. Never wants to leave. I know. I can't. Where in California are you from? Chino, California. So it's Rob Wolf. South. I think Rob Wolf lives in Chino, California. I don't know if you know. Rob Wolf is a paleo guy. He's a hmm. um, Biochemist. He's guy I follow for a lot of my all my cable stuff. Anyways, so where where is that? It's uh, down south, east of LA, about forty minutes. Okay. Inland Empire, next to famous cities like Pomona, San Bernardino. Oh, okay. Let's see, Inland Empire. There's really no famous cities. In <laughs> Fair enough. Sounds good to me. I like to actually think of Minnesota as a suburb of California. As weird as that sounds. Okay. Because we'll set a suburb of Colorado in California, just based on state kind of politics and how they all flow. All right. I really think you know it starts out west and then it moves to Colorado and then it moves to Minnesota. That's in my view, anyways. Okay, I can see that. I mean, if you just kind of look where we're going, don't wave. Come say hi. If you wanna, you wanna interrupt the video. We're working hard over here. We're cutting this out, by the way. Yeah, we are. We're just gonna blur over this face. How's it going? You want? You have any questions for Phil, who is our male athlete of the month? Um, Phil. Brandy. Uh, how are you doing? I'm great. We already covered that. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite exercise, weightlifting movement? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Oh wait, they're favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my favorite too. Uh, like gluten-free, no. like sugar-free chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I'm talking right. No, you you got to put the gluten in here. I'm sorry. So we got to <laughs> throw all double the gluten, gluten yeah, double yeah. chocolate. 
more butter, more milk, and it's double awesome. sugar. Yeah, so that's my favorite. Lift. That's your favorite. Clean and jerk or snatch? Uh, snatch. Of course. You PR'd at our Minnesota Open, right? Okay, see so you guys. I, I competition PR'd. Competition PR. Yeah. Two twenty. Two twenty. What's your gym PR? Two twenty five. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. That was the Friday before. Oh, so hey, I'm happy with that. And then clean and jerk. What'd you get at the Minnesota Open? I got two, two sixty, and. Um, week before that I was able to hit 265 so hey we're right around our numbers and yeah. the fact that the week before you went up to a hundred percent and found a new hundred percent and then you were able to do 90 plus percent 95 yeah. percent that following week that's not an ideal training program no. you know there's obviously <laughs> some but whatever it worked and we did well so how do you like that um, I guess let me backtrack so obviously we call our athletes in the month we call them out for several different reasons and one of the reasons that Phil is here is because he has been working his ass off um, you know he was able to get into the gym quite a bit and, and spend a lot more time on his Olympic weightlifting. Um, how long ago was it that you really started to come in and, and focus, you know, I know you and Luke and Ivy in the morning? Uh, working my ass off, literally, because uh, that's what Simona said, I had to butt uh, <laughs> the week before. But um, probably probably like late June, I was able to come in, uh, take advantage of some mm -hmm. downtime, yep. and came and worked out every day. And, so it's uh, pretty much didn't skip a beat from then on until competition day so, so about three months yeah June July August September um, what were your starting numbers when you before and after oh boy with uh, mobility issues um, the snatch I was probably starting at 165 175 then we're up to 225 yeah not and, bad for uh, three four months and uh, clean and jerk uh, I think I actually uh, <laughs> muscle clean and jerk 245 oh, okay. to start off and, yeah uh, and now we're at a smooth, fluid, consistent, you know, yes. you know 265. So consistent that's good. That, I mean, I like it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the biggest difference is, um, I mean, obviously we're CrossFit gym, but, you know, sometimes you get the CrossFit snatch or the CrossFit clean, and mm -hmm. there are, you know, or the football clean, we'll even go that route. Um, there's definitely a big difference between people who can clean and jerk and snatch consistently at their, or, you know, at 90 plus percent, and then the people who once hit a number, you know, astronomical, like a 225 or a 300 or whatever it is. Yep. So if you can consistently do it, which I believe you can now, um, and you proved it in those back-to-back -back weeks, that's when we know that you actually made gains and you just didn't quote-unquote get lucky, yeah. you know, so that's good. So that's one of the reasons that, you know, we bring Phil in. Um, and on top of that, obviously he's a very nice guy. He's always smiling in the gym, him, Luke, and Ivy in the morning. <laughs> It was, I sit in my office and work, so that's my work time, but listening to them go back and forth and help each other out and banter, and it's just fun. Very it's professional. Very, very professional. yeah, very professional. Um, mostly PG, um, mostly not PG, mostly our stuff, but no, actually, it was just, it's just fun. It's fun to hear you guys. It's a good mix. You know, bouncing things off each other and, and making each other better, so that's pretty cool. Um, so you did the Minnesota Open. That was last week, week before, two weeks mm -hmm. ago? Yeah, two weeks, right. What's your, what's your now, what's now your next goal? Um, uh, really, I want, I mean, I have several goals okay. all around. I mean, lifting, CrossFit, health. Uh, we'll start with that. Lifting, um, I want to increase my maxes. Mm -hmm. uh, I have, uh, you know, deadlift and squat maxes I want to get up. Uh, clean and jerk, uh, snatch. I want to pick that up too, and I have certain goals for next year. Maybe about 50 to 100 pounds by the end of next year. We'll see. Uh, depending on the workout. Uh, what were the other two? CrossFit. Uh, I'd like to lose weight. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to do muscle ups. Mm -hmm. um, you know, handstand push ups. I'd like to be able to rep stuff out. So I think I need to lose 20, 25 pounds. Yeah. Um, and then health. I need to eat clean and, you know, maybe yeah. go a little more paleo. Yeah, it's kind of interesting as I hear it. The hard part, I mean, if we start backwards and work up, you know, you want to eat clean and go paleo, that's going to definitely help your health, and that's going to help you lose that weight, um, or at least gain strength to a point where then you can do your muscle-ups and your handstand push-ups. But then the tricky part for a lot of people is, okay, now I lost 20, 25 pounds, but I also wanted to lift 100 pounds more. Yeah. So now it's like, am I going to sacrifice that 100-pound jump that I wanted for the 25-pound weight loss? And uh, for some people, absolutely. but. As I talk to a lot of people about it, it's like, what is your overall goal? I mean, is your overall goal just long-term health and fitness, like being healthier than, you know, I would say obviously like the 25 pounds less, and then maybe only jumping up 75 pounds in your lifts or 50 pounds in your lifts would probably be more better. That's my point yeah. of view. And then realistic, or then if you actually break it down, and this is where some things are almost skewed at times, is, you know, let's say you and I were doing the same workout, or Tyler and I were doing the same workout, and it was mostly weightlifting, and the weight is whatever the movement is, 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's let's say it's 50% of my one rep max, and for him it's 25%. Yeah. You know, so now if we reverse that and go back to your body weight and look at it that way too, it's gonna to be a lot different in that aspect. 
you know, Phil lifting 400 pounds at 250 pound body weight versus four lifting, or Phil lifting 375 pounds at 225 pound body weight or 200 pound body weight, what's more impressive and what's actually better for you. So, sure. So there's a lot of things to look into that, but uh, what's your, with all of that, what is your most immediate goal? Are you gonna do another weightlifting competition next? Are you just gonna gear up for the CrossFit Open? Are you just kind of hunkering down for the winter and gonna hibernate and just put on weight and muscle and everything and then maybe shake it down over the spring? Uh, no competition goals. No competition goals. But um, whatever comes up, I'll go for it. Hopefully I lose a lot of weight during wrestling season here, yeah, which starts yeah, in a couple, like the next month. And uh, so once that kicks off, you know, hopefully I'll get in really good cardiovascular slash strength shape. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll do well uh, in the Open. But uh, yeah, my goals really aren't uh, centered around that, but I would love to do well there. Yeah. But, uh, you know, overall, like I think the broad spectrum is, you know, the main push. I want to bring it all together in one big push, you know, and whether that's, you know, spreading spreading the wealth of everything with the strength and cardio and my weight mm -hmm. and all that together at the same time, that's that's my eventual goal. You know, not to be so, um, you know, strength specific and not uh, gymnastics specific. I want to bring it all up at the same time. So. We have a program for that. It's our tiered programming. Yes, is it called CrossFit? Called CrossFit, well, yeah. But yeah, that's what our tiered programming is supposed to do is help you get everything better at once, so that's cool. Well, great. We'll cut us off. I know we ran a little long, probably, and Brandy and whatever distractions in the background I threw in there. But I think we learned a little bit about you. Yeah. And as he mentioned, wrestling season starts up. I get asked the question when I tell people I wrestle, like, well, how old are you? We help out. Phil is an assistant down at South St. Paul. Mm -hmm. um, he invited me down South St. Paul High School. He invited me down uh, last year, and I was able to go in there and roll around with the kids. And with the hand of Phil and Coach Don, I heard down there they sent uh, eight kids to state this last year, right? Was it eight? It was and eight. And two yeah. placed in, two placed third, two people placed third place. Um, Pretty much your workout partner to third. Right? Yeah, and we're uh, now they're back this year. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll we'll get get to, to, up. But uh, all right, well, hey, thanks for stopping in, Phil. Any last words? Give us some motivation, or a quote, or something, something to leave us, leave us with. Oh, here, cross. Nice, <laughs> nice shirt. Nice shirt. <laughs> Yes, nice shirt. That's it. Now we just end it. Cut it. Cut. I'll take it. All right. Good. Well, I'm going to go now. Yeah, go get warmed up and have uh, have fun in the gym. Hopefully that there was enough room on that card for the whole thing. That's my least favorite workout. That's the warm-up.